Good afternoon and welcome to your weekly FX options report. Today is Wednesday, October 27, 2010. In midweek trade, the major U.S. stock averages are seeing weakness. Both the Dow and S&P 500 fell by as much as 1%. Now, investors are looking ahead to the beginning of November, which is next week. U.S. midterm elections and the FOMC rate decision will be in focus. On Wednesday, uh, markets have begun to price in expectations that the Federal Reserve uh, may take a more gradual approach to their quantitative easing measures. And on the economic data front in the U.S., durable goods orders for the latest month rose by 3.3 percent, excluding transportation durable goods orders fell by 0.8 percent. And in other economic data up from the U.S., new home sales uh, jumped by 6.6% in September to a seasonally uh, adjusted annualized rate of 307000 Over in the spot effects market, the U.S. dollar extended gains against the majors, including the euro, pound, as well as the Japanese yen. Also, the Australian dollar declined on weaker-than-expected inflation figures. Third-quarter CPI out from Australia uh, rose by 0.7% for the headline number, and core CPI was up by 0.6%. Following the uh, data releases, the Australian dollar was uh, hit, and RBA uh, rate hike expectations were dismissed. <laughs> now, one way to trade your views on U.S. dollar strength or weakness is to take a look at IC's FX options. One advantage is that they are U.S. dollar denominated. For more information, you can go to www.fxoptions.com. And in our next segment for the major ICFX option pair is uh, we will take a look at our daily trend opinion. Starting out with the AUX, which is the U.S. currency against the Australian dollar, the key short-term resistance stands at 107.25. Now the RSI for the uh, AUX is mixed with a bearish bias. The preference of trading central analysts for that pair of short positions below 107.25 with targets at 196.15 in extension. Now moving on to the BPX, the U.S. currency against the British pound, that pair is under pressure. It does stand below its resistance and the RSI is currently mixed to bearish. The preference of trading central analysts for the BPX is short positions below 64 with targets at 62 and 61 in extension. Moving on to the CDD, the U.S. currency against the Canadian dollar, the downside does prevail. Now the RSI is capped by a uh, bearish trend line and the preference of trading central analysts for the CDD is short positions below 105 with targets at 99.50 and 99, uh, 98 in extension. For the EUI, the U.S. currency against the euro, it is under pressure. It has struck against its resistance and should face weakness. The RSI uh, for that pair is capped by a declining trend line. And moving on to the SFC, the U.S. dollar against the Swiss franc, that pair is also under pressure. Now, it is posting a rebound but stands below its new resistance. Therefore, the preference of trading central analysts for the SFC is short positions below 100 with targets at 94.25 and 92.30 in extension. Last but not least, for your daily trend opinion segment, let's take a look at the YUK, the U.S. currency against the Japanese yen. Now, for that pair, the downside does prevail. Uh, the YUK does remain under pressure and has struck against its declining trend line. The preference of trading central analysts for the YUK is short positions below 84.50, with targets at 79.30 and 76.50 in extension. Now, moving on to your weekly trend opinion for the major IC FX option pairs. Last week, the U.S. dollar uh, continued to lose ground against the major currencies, but that trend began to lose its momentum. Now, trading central analysts do hold on to their positions for the NDO, which is the New Zealand dollar against the U.S. currency. Therefore, taking a look at portfolio, uh, portfolio performance in terms of its uh, standing since its inception of August 2007, it is up by 1930.63%. And since the beginning of this year, January of 2010, it is up by 650.54%. There are two trade alerts for you right now, including uh, okay. puts on the EUI and calls on the AUM. Now, starting out with a look at the puts on the EUI, it does stand below its resistance and is expected to face further weakness. The daily RSI for that pair is uh, capped by declining trend line. And regarding the calls in the AUM uh, for that pair, um, uh, further U.S. dollar decline is expected. Therefore, the RSI is supported by a rising trend line, and it is pulling back on its new support ahead of a further up move. Therefore, the forecast for the AUM, according to Trading Central Analyst, is an up move towards the 100 level or even 104.50. Trading Central Analysts will also be keeping a close eye on the BPX, the YUK, and the SFC. Now looking ahead to next week, 
Fiat Trading Center analysts will be looking at the AUX, the NZD, the PCO, and the CDD. Starting out with a look at the AUX, it does remain under pressure. It is challenging its support at the 100 level while shaping a triangle continuation pattern. And also the NZD is rebounding on its previous low, which comes in at 132, but does stand within a bearish channel. For the PCO, it does remain under pressure and is expected to reach its next support at 121.50. Last but not least, the CDD does stand below its new resistance and the daily RSI remains capped by a declining trend line. And that does wrap it up for this week's FX Options Report. Make sure to tune in next Wednesday for your latest update. Thanks for watching and have a great day.